Ah, just a nice relaxing afternoon here in Tanzania. After seeing a lot of lions during the morning drive, we decided to go back to camp to grab a quick lunch before going right back out. Even though the camp is beautiful, our driver knows that we didn't come all this way to lounge around in our tents. So after we grab a quick bite to eat, and today it's pizza day, my favorite, it's time to go back out and see which animals are in this area of the Dutu. Just like in the morning, we're coming across a lot of young zebra. These foals were born already weighing around 70 pounds. And after a week, you'll see them starting to eat grass. This large bird walking around in the grass is a quarry buster. And even though you see this one here on the ground, this is the largest flying African bird. And after a short drive up the road, you might say, we come across not only Africa's, but the world's largest bird, the ostrich. Here we have a male on the left and a female on the right. Talk about Big Bird. Also nearby is relaxing Thompson Gazelle. And a relaxing Hyena. I guess these gazelles are pretty smart to move along as no one wants to spend their afternoon near a Hyena. On the left, you'll also see a Grand's Gazelle, which are slightly larger than the Tommies. Gazelle always seem to be walking away from the Jeep. I can never get a good head-on shot. Oh well. It's all smiles as this is one beautiful day. A perfect day to relax with a drink. Unless a hyena is laying right in the water. Then, like these zebras, you gotta keep walking on by. No one wants to drink water that smells like hyena butt. And off in the distance, yet another hyena. Don't these things ever go away? This one is protecting a den, which is right off the road. And as we drive on, we are seeing that hyena isn't the only one that has some newborns to worry about. Look at this, a very young gazelle. Now its mother is probably nearby, hopefully, as they will sometimes leave their little ones in a good spot so they can go off and eat and drink a little bit before coming back. They're just hoping that hyena, lion, leopard, cheetah, or any other predator won't come across it. Good luck, little one. As we slowly make our way back to camp, we decided to see who's or what's hanging around the lake. And we should have known, more hyenas. We got hyena everywhere. Now we even know the spotted hyena isn't endangered, their populations in the wild are actually dropping due to habitat loss. And of course the population drop is also used to human threat, like when they get caught in snares. These hyena are just getting in the last few hours of rest before they meet up with others to go out hunting. I usually see them out in the plains, so it's interesting to see them right on the beach. As we return back to camp, I'll give you a quick tour of my tent. I like to explain now real quick, sometimes people here at Tented Safari, they think you're going to be on a tent on the ground. Look at this, you have a mobile tent to camp, you have all the luxuries, bed, a mirror to do whatever you need to do in. You have a sink, another mirror, you have your shower, you have your toilet, and of course every little thing is great. Toilet paper soft? Of course it's gonna be soft. Look at that, a kit. Good enough to might not even use it anyway. Yeah, I don't know if I can sell it. Why? It was fine. What mirror are you gonna do whatever you want in? Yeah. What are you gonna do in a mirror, babe? <laughs> Here you could put your blush on, or I don't know. I don't use mirrors. Use a mirror to fix your hair. Okay. What a great afternoon drive. And of course, as I lay down to sleep, what animal do I hear? But hyena.
Thanks for watching.